Hello, welcome to Scratch 3 Printing. Finally, Warcraft Slicer has a new update. Let's take a look. Let's scratch to this topic. Warcraft Slicer has been my go-to slicer for the past year. It's been really great. All the news, all the all the new features that they keep adding to the slicer is really amazing. But it has been quite a while since they have a new update. But today they did drop some new features. So let's go ahead and take a look at what they added. We are in GitHub Orca Slicers version 2.3.1 alpha release. This is very exciting. It was released four days ago, but now I just got the time. So let's look. New features and enhancements. Amazing. New sparse infield rotation system. Okay, that is interesting. Let's take a look. Orca Slicer now allows you to specify sparse infield rotation pattern in any possible way by using the newly introduced template meta language. Nice. Let's take a look at this video here. Ah, right there. That's the new feature. 30, 60, 90. Ooh, look at that. Look at how all of those changes. Wow, that is really amazing. Plus 30. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. And feel now is gonna be a video topic of its own. Holy crap, dude. Look at that plus five agent. And it rotates like that. Wow. Sharp 10. What? That is crazy. You can make really cool patterns with this. Okay, I need to explore all of the options in that feature. Plus 90. Okay, let's see what that gets you. R. Whoa. Okay, that is crazy. That is amazing. I'm going to have to play with that with 3d honeycomb hopefully it works for all of it if you want to learn more about the new rotation system please visit yes go here if you want to learn more infill line multiplier we introduced the new infill line multiplier feature giving you greater control over your print internal structure okay so for infill they added fill multi-line which looks like that and once it's print out it looks crazy good wow Improve flow rate calibrations, use IP arc, whatever, I cannot pronounce that, pattern for flow rate calibration. Right here for the flow rate calibration, it's going to use a different pattern, like a circle pattern. Maybe this will make it a little bit better to know where your flow is going to be. Workout Slicer now introduced comprehensive input shaping, injection, deviation, calibration tool to optimize motion control on more than two clipper-based printers. Through a two-step calibration process for identify the optimal input shape, the fine-tuning ratio, users can use reduce reduce ghosting vibration artifact with support from modern this 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 and that. Okay, so a new input shaping here. You can set your settings here, and you're gonna get your tower, which has some new improvements like this. I don't remember this being there, so it's good that it's there now. Maybe maybe it's there, maybe it's not. There. I, I forgot. And then input shipping, then tower, you can have a tower, um, override input shipping value. So maybe that is going to change, right? Yes. That looks like that. And now it just looks like that. So it changes. A deviation test. So it's going to be like that. And then it's going to do a de junction. De and then it's going to do the junction deviation. We will have to explore with all of these. So as of right now, not really sure what all of these do, but I know that it will improve your print quality so much better. Add fuzzy skin painting. Let's go. Ported from Prusa. So Prusa already has this. So they now integrate it into Orca Sensor. I love open source. It's amazing. So let's take a look at this video here. Paint on fuzzy skin. So you can only paint on the things that you wanted now, which is amazing. Yes, look at that. They only painted the Orca Sensor's logo. And oh, it's laggy. But yes, you get the idea. Fuzzy painting that is gonna be really cool on many 3D print parts. Introduce a new seam alignment option, align back. We can go down here, align back. As you can see here, align the seam is right here, right here, right here. You will see all the artifact align back. It's gonna go towards the back of this bunny, so you won't see it on the front face, which is cool. Unlike the back option, which always forces seams to the back most position this approach provide more balance in visual yeah the back option for seam never really works so I, so I just put it at default so mine i just put it at default i don't really use any other one because it doesn't really work but now align back works so maybe i'm gonna use it remap filament for pre-color model this release introduced an intuitive color remapping features that address a common workflow challenge 
Repenting pre-color model. Yeah, sometimes pre-color model doesn't really work, so I just put in the model, erase everything, and then I would do my own painting. I cannot watch any other videos. My Wi-Fi, what, what is going on? Add resonance avoidance border from shitty slicers. You cannot set a resonance avoidance range in Oracle slicers. When enabled, the slicer will skip over such zones. Speed automatically and choose the nearest safest value. Nice. Speed here is really matter. Some part of the printing. If it slows down too much, the color turns a little bit darker. If it prints too fast, the color turns a little bit lighter. Junction deviation machine limits. This update introduced new junction option allowing user to configure the maximum JD value of printer running modern as JD replace order like the jerk parameter. So it adds to the jerk maximum junction deviation, which limits the jerk and make it and make your 3D printing so much better. Introduce rib wall feature for wipe tower inspired by Bamboo Lab. Orga sensor took from Pusha, Ch Chidi, and Bamboo, which is amazing because it's all open source and they can add whatever they want. Orga sensor now allows the multicolored wipe tower to include the rib wall. So it looks like the rib wall is like an outer shell right here. Ensure cleaner filament purge while minimizing wobble and print artifact. Nice, nice. Orga sensor is now gonna be so, so much better. Top bottom surface pattern. So we have a new top surface and bottom panel here. Look at that. It fixes it, huh? Enable iron and show option for spiral base mode. You can do iron now in, in spiral base mode. Wow, that is amazing. Ironing supports interface. Hmm. It looks like you can now iron the support interface, which is this. And make it smoother so that you can take support off easier. We will have to explore this further. Add iron fan speed control. Oh yeah, look at that. Fan 100%, fan 20%, 25, 5, 10, fan off. Okay, so iron now may be useful because I never really tried iron because it just makes the part look worse than it is. But now maybe it's time for a change. Fourth step, import dialogue from Bamboom Studio. We have more control. True. We have more control over the detail when we import step files into Orca Slicers. G Code Legend View Improvements. Let's see what is the difference. Giving the viewer cleaner, sleeker appearance while maximizing space for print preview. Yes. Okay, so the difference I can see here is the display over here. It has the eye on the new one, and this one it only has checkbox. And the line type up here also changes. You can see that there's an extra button right here, which I'm not quite sure what it does. But line time, time, percent, usage, that's it. Percent, filament, used filament, display. So it cleans up a little bit better. Add literal honeycomb and fill pattern. What? What is this? New literal honeycomb and fill pattern has been introduced. Designed primarily for applications such as aircraft wings, similar to rib stringing. This is amazing for those people that love aerodynamic stuff wing and stuff like that tpms fk and tpms d infill is now introduced here too look at that infill looks crazy improve g code preview flow rate scale and a lot more improvement and stuff like that that is a lot of things for this update wow look at that that is so much things and three printer profile updates we have all of these new printer update files and if you scroll all the way down, these are the people that contribute. Thank you so much. And you can download it from here, the assets, Linux, Mac, Windows, stuff like that. That is amazing. Wow, that is so many new things added to Orca Slicers. I can't even name all of them, man. There's so much that they have added to Orca Slicer, making it just 10 times better than what it was originally was there's way too much stuff to cover in this video alone so i'm gonna break part by part and make more videos in the future about each of the new features that they have added to orca slicers and calibrate your 3d printers using their new flow rate system to make your print better and even ghosting try to make the ghosting disappear they have added new calibrations for that too so much new fixes so much new infill patterns i never thought about infill being that much creative but now they have added so many things about the infill infill can be so much creative we can just not do the top layer and just have the infill sitting there it's just like a really cool block just sitting there looking at the infill 
But that'll be it for this video of me looking at Orca Slicer's version 2.3.1 alpha release. I'm going to be covering so much more. So if you don't want to miss that, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video. If you still have any questions, leave comments down below. I'll try my best to answer them. And if you haven't yet, become a member of the channel. And as always, keep on 3D printing.